Hi there, Mr. Rudsart here again, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, calculating slope. Uh, graphing is a, a major part of physics, and uh, being able to not only draw graphs, but uh, interpret the graphs and pull the information from the graphs uh, is a skill that you'll need uh, here in Science 10 and uh, going further into Physics 20 and Physics 30. So one of the skills uh, in reading a graph is calculating the slope because the slope itself gives us information uh, about, um, basically it tells us the story about what's happening on the graph, or it's a part of it anyway. So we're going to calculate the slope of this line. Okay, so we have uh, this section of the graph right here. This one line we're going to calculate the slope, and that's going to give us some information. Uh, some of you may have calculated slope in your math classes, that's great. Uh, I'm going to use just the basic slope formula that's uh, here. I'm going to use the basic slope calculation here, slope formula here. Again, this is found on your data sheet. You don't have to memorize this uh, or remember it. Uh, the two points that we are going to use uh, for this line, so I'm going to use this point down here, which is the origin, and again, that is zero and zero. Okay, And we'll use this point up here. It's always nice to use points. Uh, if you can get the end of the line, that's perfect. Uh, if not, you can put points somewhere along the line. Uh, it's great if you can get them where they intersect the lines. Uh, and this is uh, 10 and 60. Okay, And we will put in our units when we get into our calculation here. So I'll just continue down from this formula. So my y2 is my second set. So y2 is going to be 60. And I want to write in my units 60 meters. And I'm going to subtract that from 0 meters. And my x2 is 10 seconds, and I'm going to subtract that from 0 seconds, and that information I'm pulling from my two, uh, my two points here. So that gives me 60 meters divided by 10 seconds, which is 6.0 meters per second. Okay, now when we get to graphing, um, uh, if this was a, if I was asking for, uh, this gives me the speed, but if I'm looking for the velocity, now I would say that this is positive because it is in a positive direction. Okay, and we will calculate the slope of another portion uh, in a second, and you'll see that we're going to get a negative number. All right, so we're looking at calculating the slope of this second portion of the line, and the slope of any point on this line is going to be equal to the slope of the line. So I'm going to use down here just to make my math a little bit easier, instead of going all the way down and using the end of the line here, we're going to pull this point in here. So again, our points are up here. Uh, our point is 15 and 60. Okay, And this point over here, draw it over here, is 30 and 0. Okay, so this is our uh, our second value, this is our first value up here. So now we have uh, our y is 0 minus 60. Oh, sorry, I should rewrite that again. I need to put in my units. So 0 meters minus 60 meters over 30 seconds minus 15 seconds. Okay, and that gives me a total of negative 60 meters minus 15 seconds. So that gives me negative 4.0 meters per second. Now, what does the negative mean? The negative doesn't mean that it's slowing down. Not at all, because this is a velocity. The negative means it's traveling in the opposite direction. So uh, you'll see that when we get to uh, position time graphs. I have another video on position time graphs. I just want to show you how uh, to calculate the slope. So again, uh, give it a try. Um, there will be a number of examples that we'll do in class in your book. Practice these. It's uh, simple as long as you go through the method. Uh, the most important piece here is to, or one of the most important pieces, is to make sure that you include your units. Never leave your units out, and um, 
always put down your integer values, whether they are uh, negatives or positives, uh, when you do these calculations. That's how you calculate slope, and we'll see you in class. Science.